Hi everybody and um, welcome to today's uh, practice with me. I'm so happy that you're able to join me. So for today's practice, it's going to be a juicy side body flow. We're going to be working around the area of the side body. We're going to be working um, on building um, awareness and strength around the oblique area. So your obliques, they help in twisting and in bending and actually stabilizing your torso. So we're going to be building awareness and strength around the muscles of the obliques. But also we're going to be releasing um, through spinal movement and through um, stretching and deep breathing and igniting some digestive fire. So I hope you're ready. You will be needing optional. You can be taking some blocks. If you don't have blocks on hand, you can use two Kleenex boxes. It's not really necessary, but they're just handy to have and you can place them just over here at the top of your mat. If you um, also have sensitive knees, it's a good idea to maybe have a blanket or a towel nearby so you can place underneath your knees whenever we go into kneeling. So we're going to sit, start by opening up the side body, right? And allowing your knees just to fall to the side. And we're not gonna sit cross-legged, so it's just one leg in front of the other. And you're gonna lift the arms up towards the sky. So just feel the length of the side waist as you reach up with your fingertips, you roll the shoulder blades on the back and soften your rib cage. Inhale here and exhale. And just notice how the side body feels like. Good. And then you're gonna take your fingertips down by your side as we inhale here. You're gonna slide your right hand out to the side and you reach the left arm over the head. Inhale here. You're gonna lift open the heart. Good. And then slowly you look down, you press your hand down into the mat and you rise up as you inhale. And then you raise the arms up again. Inhale here. Take your left fingertips down. Exhale as you slide over towards the left. So opening that right side waist. Press down into the hand as you lift open the heart. Inhale. Exhale. Reach the arm and you come all the way up. So we're going to do this again. We're going to bring a little bit more awareness in how we do it. So raising both arms up. Inhale here. Right fingertips come down. Slide your right arm out to the side and you bend your right elbow and reach the left arm over the head. Now, you want to keep your left hip heavy. Okay, You want to anchor that left hip down into the mat. So you don't want to lift your left hip up. So reach it down into the mat and reach that left arm over the head. Good. And then here, exhale and come down a little bit deeper if you've got some space. We inhale, you're gonna lift open the heart. So you spin your heart up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, you're gonna keep your arm glued by your ear as you rotate from your chest to face your knee, right? So you wanna rotate from your chest to face your knee. It's not bringing the arm down, it's really a rotation towards the knee. And your left hip reaches back and the heart reaches forward. Good, inhaling. Opening back up, pressing up through the right arm, and then taking the left arm down. Both arms come up, inhale. Exhale, left fingertips come down and sliding the left arm out to the side. Good. Allowing your right knee to stay down and your right hip to stay heavy. And you spin open the heart, inhale, reaching the right arm, really reaching it over the head. As you exhale, keeping the arm by the ear, and you're going to rotate from your chest to face your left knee or thigh. Keeping your right knee down and your right hip down, reaching the fingertips forward. Good. Inhaling, open it back up, and coming all the way up as you press up through the left arm. Okay, one more time like this, and we're gonna add a movement to it. So both arms come up, inhale, right fingertips come down, exhale, sliding the left arm over the head. Inhale, opening the heart, remember to keep your left hip heavy. Exhale, you twist your torso, so you turn from your torso to face your left thigh. Left hip stays back, right, reaching heart forward. Coming back here, inhale. And then on your exhale, you're going to reach the arm forward, reach the heart forward, reach the hips behind you as you circle the arm all the way to the left side. Both arms come up, inhale. 
Left fingertips come down, sliding the left arm. Right arm comes over the head, allowing that right knee to stay down and open. Inhaling, lifting the heart open. Good. Exhale, turning your heart to face your thigh, allowing your left right hip to stay heavy, reaching the right arm forward, reaching the left hip back. You might want to feel the stretch right here, right underneath your rib cage, maybe in the rib cage. Inhaling, open it back up, and then you reach the hips behind you, arms forward, as you stretch the arms and you come out to the other side. Good. And then from here, you're gonna swing yourself around and you're gonna take your knees in towards your chest and just kind of take your knees towards your chest and you circle your hips around going one way and then you circle your hips around going the other way. Good. And then take your feet down and then check that you're centered in the mat. You want your shoulders and your hips and your knees to be aligned, okay? So make sure that your feet are not kind of skewed over to the wrong side. So check the alignment. Good. And then from here, you're going to take your knees and feet together. And then you're going to take your arms up towards the ceiling. Plug the shoulder blades down the back and soften the front of the rib cage. You inhale, you hinge the arms back slowly, right? Softening the front of the rib cage, lifting the arms up lifting your head, lifting your chest, you're gonna take your hands down towards the thighs and you're gonna slide your hands up your thighs. Exhale here. Inhale, you're going to lower down. Lift the arms up and hinge the arms back and you soften the rib cage. Good, lift your arms up, lift your head and chest, take your hands on top of your thighs and slide your hands up towards the knees. Good, and you exhale here. Slowly lower, lifting the arms up, and hinge the arms back. Now hold. When you hinge the arms back and you hold the arms by the ears, you want to make sure the arms don't go beyond the level of the ears. And you don't want to jut your rib cage up towards the ceiling. So my arms are still here, right in front of my ears, and I soften my rib cage so that I feel my upper back against my mat, okay? And I'm not jabbing into my upper back, my spine is in neutral, and I hold here, good. And from this position, I lift my arms up, I lift my head and chest, I take my hands towards my thighs, and I reach my hands up towards the sky, up towards my thighs, sorry, to reach towards the knees, good. Hug your legs together, hug your ankles together, hug your knees together. Lift your arms up your thighs and stay up with your head and chest. Slowly roll it down. Lift your arms up. Again, softening the ribcage now as the arms hinge back. Take an inhale. Exhale to the mouth. Lift your arms up. Take your hands towards the thigh. Slide your hands up your knees. Take the palm of the hands together now. Reach the palm of the hands together. Good. You're going to take the palm of the hands on the outside of that right knee. You press the back of the left hand against the right knee. You open the right arm out to the side. Now you stay up with your head and chest and you'll anchor your feet firmly into the mat. Press the palm of the hands together again. Bring the hands back to center. Open the hands apart. Lift them away from the thighs and then you slowly roll back. Good, and you hinge the arms back. Lifting the arms up, lifting your head, lifting your chest. Take the hands down to your thighs again. Slide your hands up your knees, hug the thighs towards each other. Take the palm of the hands together. Twist towards the outside of that left thigh and take the shoulders off the mat. Press the back of the hand against the thigh and open that left arm out to the side. Good. You close the hands again. You bring the hands back to center. You take the hands apart, you touch your thighs. You lift the arms up away from the thighs and then you slowly roll back down. Good. If you feel tension in the neck, feel free to take one hand behind your head and maybe just work on twisting towards the side, coming back to center, raising one arm up and coming up, right? So the side that you're twisting towards that hand comes behind the head for support if you need it. 
Okay, so one more time. We inhale, we hinge the arms back, and we soften the ribcage. Lift the arms up, lift your head, lift your chest, take the hands towards the back. Now slide them up high and hug the legs towards each other. And you bring the palm of the hands together as you exhale. You take an inhale here. You exhale through the mouth like you've got a straw between the lips. Back of the hand against the knee. You open that right arm out the side. You take the arm only shoulder height so don't go beyond. Close the hands. Take the hands towards the thighs. Take them apart. Lift them up. Slowly lower. Hinge the arms back. Again, softening the rib cage. Moving the two points of the ribs down towards the hip bones. Lifting the arms up on your exhale. Lifting head, lifting chest. Reaching up towards the thighs. Hug the legs together. Palm the hands in the center. Twist towards the left. Back of the right hand against the thigh. Open that left arm out to the side. Keep the shoulders up. Take the palm of the hands together. Come back to center. Hands apart. Lift them up. And then slowly lower. Hinge the arms back. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Take the hands down. Good. So we're warming up the movement of the spine and warming up awareness of the obliques and of the sideways. And we're going to continue now really warming up the core, going into an exercise from Pilates called the 100. And we're going to build it up in stages. So we inhale, we lift the arms up. And then we hinge the arms back. Good. Hold here. Softening the ribcage. Legs are still together. So the two points of the ribs move down towards the hips. So we're not jutting our ribcage up and we're not arching off the mat. Lift your arms up. Lift your head and chest, press the arms down by your hips, and you reach forward. Now lift your belly, and you exhale fully. <sighs> Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. <sighs> Lower your head and chest down. Take your hands down on the mat. So with this breath, deep in, deep out, we're going to add a movement of the arms. So first of all, lift the arms up. And we hinge the arms back, hold halfway, arms in front of the ears, softening the rib cage. Lift your arms up, lift your head, lift your chest, press the arms down by your hips, and then reach forward. Good. We inhale, and we exhale. As we take a deep inhale, we pump the arms. And we inhale, and we exhale. So we inhale for five counts. And we exhale for five counts. And we keep going. We inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Keep going. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Now you keep pumping and you hold. You slide your feet towards you. You lift your legs in tabletop and you keep going. Now if this is giving you tension in the back, keep your feet down. So we inhale and exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. You either keep your legs here. If you can, you extend the legs up towards the ceiling. You press the heels together. Hug the legs together. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. If there's space and your low back can stay flat on the mat, you lower the legs down as far as you can keep your back flat on the mat and you keep pumping. Inhale, and exhale. Keep reaching. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Hug the legs together. We're reaching this last 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Legs together, heels together. Five, four, three, two. Reach and hold. Reach your knees in towards your chest. Take your hands towards your knees and bring your head and chest down. You're going to extend the legs on your mat. And again, you need to check that you're centered. Okay, so I'm off center. So center yourself so that when you lift your head up, you see that your shoulders, your hips, your knees, and your feet are all following one straight line. Take your hands behind the head so we don't interlace the fingers here. It's one hand on top of the other. And we're going to practice first just lifting without pulling on the neck. Okay? So we inhale here. We exhale through the mouth. And we lift without pulling. Right? So there's still space between my chin and my chest. I can fit my fist in between my chin and my chest. And then I lower. 
So I inhale here, and then I exhale to the mouth, and I lift my head and chest up. Now I flex my feet. I look towards my toes. I lift my right heel up in line with my left toes. So lift it up, right? Hold. You lower your foot down, and then you lower your body down. And again, we breathe in, and exhale, and lift. Try to get the shoulders off the mat. Good. And then I inhale and I lift my right heel up towards my right, my left toes. I'm not on top. I'm not crossing over. I'm just right leg and they're just touching each other. So lift up. Lower your foot down. Stay up. Lower your head just down. And again, we inhale. So we're going to keep adding on to this. We inhale. We exhale. We lift. Inhale. Lift your right heel up. Now, as you exhale, you're going to twist your upper body, taking your left elbow into the direction of that right foot, and you keep your left hip heavy so you don't roll over to that right hip. So keeping your left hip heavy, twisting towards that right foot. Now, you inhale, you untwist. You lower your right heel down, and then you lower your head and chest down. Okay? Again, like this, and we're going to add some more variations. Inhale, exhale, we lift. Inhale, lifting the right heel up. Exhale, twist towards the right foot. Good. Inhale, untwist. Lower your heel down. Lower the rest of the body down. Inhaling. And then we go, exhale, up. Inhale, right heel lifts. Exhale, you twist towards that foot. Now hold. You extend your right arm by the ear. You reach the right arm towards the right toe like you want to touch. You bring the right arm back by the ear. You reach it again towards the right toes. You reach it back by the ear. Keep your left hip heavy. Reach it towards the toes. Left hip heavy. Arm comes by the ear. Bend your elbow. Untwist. Lower your heel down. And then you lower your head and chest down. So again, on the same side. So work from the same side before we go to the left. Inhale. Exhale to the mouth. Lifting the right heel up. Inhale. Twist towards the foot. Exhale. Reach the right arm, left arm by the ear. Reach toward the right foot. And bring it back. Left hip heavy. Toward the right foot. And reach it back. Good. Feel the core reaching. Good. Feel the side body. Last one. Reaching towards the foot. Take the arm by the ear. Hold. Bend your elbow. Hold. Untwist. Stay up and hold. Lower your heel down. And the rest of the body comes down as well. So we're doing the left side and starting slowly and building up. So we inhale. And we exhale, flex your feet. Good. Now your left heel is going to lift up towards the right big toe. Stay up. Lower your left heel down, lower your body down. Take a breath. Exhaling, lifting up our body, lifting the heel. Good. Lower your heel down, upper body comes down. Inhale. And exhale when we lift. Lifting the left heel. Inhale. Good. On your exhale, you twist towards that left heel, taking the shoulders off the mat. Untwisting. Hold. Lower your heel. The rest of the body follows. Inhale. Exhale and twist. I mean, come up, sorry. Lifting the left heel up. Take a breath. Exhale. Twist towards that left heel. Twist towards it. Yes. Untwist, keeping that right hip heavy. Lower your heel down, and the rest of the body comes down as well. Lifting up again, inhaling. Exhale. Lifting the left heel. Twisting towards the left heel. Right arm comes by the ear. Now, reach the right arm towards the left toes. Bring it back by the ear. Reach the right arm towards the left toes. Bring it back by the ear. Reach the right arm towards the left toes. Bring it by the ear. 
Bend your elbow hands behind the head. Untwist. Good. Lower your heel down and you bring your upper body down as well. Same side, same thing. Inhale and exhale. Flex in the feet and come up. Lifting up through that left heel. Okay? And exhale and twist. Right hip stays down and heavy. Right arm comes up by the ear. Exhale as you reach the hand towards the toes. Bring the right arm by the ear without collapsing in the upper body. Exhale, reach. Inhale again, arm by the ear. Exhale, reach. Inhale, arm by the ear. Exhale, reach. Take the arm by the ear and hold. Bend your elbows, hold. Untwist. Stay up with your shoulders, hold. Lower your heel down and lower your upper body down. Whew. Okay, so we're still just warming up. Walk your knees in towards your chest and grab your knees in. All right, so this might feel nice to just kind of go into a smaller fetal like position where the belly can relax down just for a little bit. And then you take your hands behind the head. You allow your heels to be heavy. Now we're going to work on twisting from the hips. So the first exercises we were doing when we're twisting from the torso. Now we want to keep the torso still as you take your hands behind the head, again, one hand on top of the other, and you lift your head and chest up. So feel the tips of the shoulder blades touching the mat, but you don't want your entire shoulders to be on the mat. So you're really in the lift, right? We inhale here. Now on your exhale, you're going to take your feet, both feet together and knees together, towards the right side of the mat. Now you move the feet, like you want to touch your right elbow with your feet. So it's really twisting from the hip. Notice I'm not twisting to the side. I'm staying still with my upper body. I come back to the middle, and then I lower my head and chest down. Inhaling, exhale, lift up. Stay up here. Now you take your feet over to the left, over to the left. My upper body stays still. I want to touch my left elbow with my toes. So come on, reach, 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 challenge yourself. Get those toes to touch that left elbow. Come back to center, lower your head and chest. Inhale, exhale, lift up. As you exhale, you start to prepare and you start to go deeper into the twist. Right? Take as many breaths as you need. You need another breath, take another exhale. Keep moving the toes over to that right elbow. Come back to center. You're going to stay up with your head and chest here now. Inhale. Exhale. And you move the feet towards your left elbow. Come on. Come up with your upper body and move those toes really towards the left side until they can't move anymore. Good. Come back to center. Stay up with your head and chest. Inhale. Exhale. Come up a little bit higher and twist with your feet. Really reach towards that right elbow. Reach towards the right elbow. And now from here, you're going to twist, taking your left elbow on the outside of the knee. So we're going really deep. So the toes are moving towards the right elbow and the left elbow moves towards that right knee. Come back to center, lower your head and chest, inhale. Exhale, lifting up. And again, first we move the left toes towards the left elbow, the, both toes towards the left elbow, right? You stay up with your upper body. Good, stay in center, stay in center, stay in center until you can't move them anymore. And then you twist towards the left side, taking the elbow on the outside of the knee. Reach, more, more. Go deep. And bring back to center. Lower your head just down. Good. And then you're gonna extend your legs. So we're gonna go back to the Pilates world for the roll-up exercise which is gonna be nice after this because we're still moving from the core. We're gonna be lengthening the side ways, but we'll be releasing the spine. So we're gonna start first by dragging our heels in about five centimeters and you hug the heels together. The knees can be slightly apart and you lift your toes up so you're flexing your feet, okay? And what we practice with the rib placement here is important as we hinge the arms back again and we hold. Again, you don't wanna be jutting your rib cage up towards the ceiling. You want to be softening the front of the body. We're not jabbing it back either. So there's a small space between my low back and the mat, very small space. 
right? That's the natural curve of my spine. And I just keep working on softening the front of my rib cage. I lift my arms up and I lift my head and chest and I look towards my thighs. Now I grab the sides of my thighs. I really grab them. I bend the elbows and without lifting my feet up off the mat, I press my heels into the mat. I curl up from my mat, reaching the arms forward, pulling your belly in and up and feel the length in the side waist. So we're not collapsing, but we're lifting and we're lifting the belly away from the thighs and slowly sliding the shoulder blades down the back. Now you're going to roll back, articulating your spine, keeping your heels down and pressing your feet away from you, rolling down slowly, resisting, very slowly resisting. Yes. Hold here. Inhale, hinge the arms back, lifting your arms up, lifting your head and chest. Either you grab the sides of the thighs and you help yourself up, or just from the arms, you keep lifting the arms forward. Again, pulling the belly away from the thighs, shoulders down the back, lifting up from the side waist so we're not sinking. And from that lift, you slowly start to curl yourself back down, very slowly. Now you can keep your knees bent here, or for an extra challenge, so I've kind of come off my mat here, you can extend your legs, right? So you can have your knees bent or your legs extended, hinge the arms back, soften the rib cage. Lift your arms up, lift your head and chest. Either grab the sides of the thighs to help you up, or from the core, you lift your belly in, you keep a round shape in your spine. You reach the belly forward, right? Keeping your belly back, you reach the fingertips forward, keep looking into the belly, shoulders down the back, and slowly curl yourself back down, feeling every single part of your spine come down on the mat, reaching your heels away from you. Okay, let's do one more like this. So we inhale, lifting arms up, lifting head, lifting chest, pulling the belly inwards. Round spine, so keep looking into the belly so that your gaze is inwards and the round spine stays round and your neck is also following the curvature of the spine, which is round, good. Rolling all the way back. Last one, we come up and we stay up. Lifting arms up, lifting head, lifting chest, pulling the belly in, lifting really the belly away from the thighs. And then you slowly lower your hands down. Good, and just take a soft forward fold. And then you're gonna swing over. You're gonna come forward to your mat to the top of your mat here. And you're going to start with your hands shoulder width apart and your hands right underneath the shoulders. And your knees are hip width apart as well. We inhale, we roll the shoulders down the back. And now feel the side waist lengthen as you reach the heart forward and your hips behind you. Okay, so notice we're not sinking into the low back. I'm not sinking into my shoulders. My shoulder blades are so broad. I reach my shoulder blades down the back to reach the heart forward, to slowly tilt and reach the crown of my hips behind me. And then I exhale, I bring my chin towards my chest. I pull up from the belly, I round my spine. I lift my upper back seriously up towards the sky. Now, and then again, inhale, reaching the heart forward gently Shoulder blades down the back, reaching the hips behind you. Exhale, chin towards the chest, lifting up, drawing the pubic bone towards your hips. Good. And then from here, you're going to hold, keeping the toes uncurled. You look into the belly and you press with the power of the hands. You lift your knees up off the mat and you pull up from the core. Right, so you might feel a little bit more action happening around the shoulders and around the shoulder blades. Slowly lower your knees down, reaching the heart forward, right, and hips behind you. Inhaling, exhale, chin towards the chest, lifting your upper back up, pressing up through the arms. So you're closing the space, pulling the belly in and up, and slowly, without curling the toes under, Toenails pressing into the mat, you press up through your upper back, you lift your knees up off the mat, you look into the belly. One more breath. 
Slowly lower your knees down, reaching the heart forward. Good. If you've got space in front of you, actually curl the toes under. Let's sit back for a moment. So just to stretch out the arms. So you curl your toes under so you give your, your feet a break, right, from being uncurled. And you sit back in the child's pose with the toes curled under. Now from here you look forward and you just rock yourself back forward. Now your hands are going to be slightly in front of the shoulders and that's what you want, okay? And then you uncurl the toes again. You want to make sure your knees are about hip width apart, they're not wider. Inhale again, same thing, reaching the heart forward. Exhale, chin towards the chest, lifting up through the belly and through the spine. Press your hands down into the mat and without curling the toes under, again, you lift your knees up slightly off the mat. Now, from here, you're going to extend your legs. So you're coming into plank with the tops of the nails, the front of the toes on the mat. You bend your knees back, you reach the hips behind you, slowly lower your knees down. Curl the toes under, sit back on your toes. Okay, sit back on your heels. So coming up again, the hands are in front of uh, my shoulders, they're not directly underneath. Okay. I reach my heart forward, inhale. I exhale, I bring my chin towards my chest and I pull up from the core. I lift my knees up off the mat. I extend my legs and now draw your shoulder blades together as you reach the heart forward and to come into an upward facing dog modification, mo uh, modification okay? So we're not sinking into the low back, keep lifting up through the core. Now from here, bend your knees, shift your hips back, Slowly lower your knees down, curl the toes under, and sit back on your heels. Okay, so one more like this with the upward facing dog uh, variation. Uncurl the toes, come back forward. Roll the shoulder blades on the back, lifting the heart and reaching the hips behind you as you take an inhale. Exhale, chin towards the chest, lifting up through the core, lifting your knees slightly off the mat. Good. Extend your legs as you shoot forward into a plank. Squeeze the shoulder blades together to lift open the heart as you come into like an upward facing dog variation. Good. You bring your chin towards the chest. You pull up from the core to lift your upper back up. From here, you bend your knees. You take your knees down. You curl the toes under and you sit on your heels. Reach the arms behind you if you need a break for the arms or the shoulders. And then you bring the arms back forward. Good. And then from here, you're going to slowly come up into downward facing dog. So whichever way you choose to go into it. And in downward facing dog, you really want to have your shoulder blades on the back and you're reaching away from the hands. Now soften your knees a little and work on reaching the hips further behind you to lengthen the side body more and lengthen the spine more, okay? So soft knees in this downward facing dog. We inhale here, we exhale. Maybe we straighten out the legs a little more. Now you're going to inhale and you're gonna reach the right leg up. Good, reach your right leg up, drawing the inner thighs towards each other. You're going to flex your right foot and you're going to stack your right hip on top of the left hip. And you're going to reach back with your right heel, okay? So we're not going behind us, it's still in line with your hip, but you just press that heel out as far forward as you can to get more opening out of that right side body. Now you're gonna point your toes and you're going to take your right knee and you're gonna bring your right knee towards the right elbow as you come forward into plank. You're going to bring your right knee towards the left elbow. You're going to bring it to the right elbow again, and you reach that right leg behind you, okay? So we inhale, bend your right knee, take the right knee towards the right elbow, swing it towards the left elbow, swing it towards the right elbow, yeah? Bring it to center here, and now reach it back behind you. One more time, right side. Right knee towards the right elbow, swing it towards the left, swing it towards the right, and reach it back behind you. Slowly lower your right toes down. Left side, right? So if you need a break, 
Come into child's pose if your arms are getting tired. And then whenever you're ready, you come back into downward facing dog. And then we inhale and we slowly raise your left leg up. So the inner thighs are moving towards each other. And then you flex your left foot and you stack your left hip on top of the right hip. And you reach out with your left heel. Really weak towards the far end of that wall behind you. And then you point your toe and you bend your left knee and you draw your left knee forward towards your left elbow. You swing it towards the right, you swing it towards the left, and you reach it behind you, inhale. Exhale, bend your knee, left knee towards left elbow. Swing it to the right, swing it to the left. You bring it to center, reach it back behind you. One more time, inhale. Slowly left knee towards the left elbow, bring it to the right, bring it to the left. Center, reach it back behind you. Good. Slowly lower your toes down. Rock forward into a plank. Lower your knees down. Hug your elbows into the body. Pull up from the belly. Right? And you're going to bend your elbows straight back. So be careful, not out to the side, guys. So elbows straight back. You pull the belly in from the chest. Comes down with the belly. You point your toes behind you. I'm going to scoot back. You point your toes behind you, your hands are underneath the shoulders. Roll the shoulders on the back, draw the elbows together, toenails press into the mat as you lift your heart up for cobra. Inhale and exhale, and we slowly come down. Now you're going to take one hand on top of the other, underneath your forehead. So I'm going to shift myself back because I'm off my mat. Okay. One hand on top of the other, elbows are out the side. And then you rest your forehead down on your hands. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. And then you're going to draw your pubic bone down towards the mat. And you pull the belly away from the mat. Okay, so we're filling up the space in the back. And we're activating the core. And you're going to inhale. And you're going to raise the right elbow up. And you press your hands down into the mat as you turn your gaze up towards the right elbow and draw that right shoulder blade down the back. So we're activating that right shoulder blade. We slowly turn our gaze back down as the elbow comes back down. We press the toenails into the mat, right? Again, pulling the belly up, pubic bone down. Inhale, you raise your left elbow off the mat and then you turn your gaze and you look up at your left elbow, drawing the left shoulder blade down the back, activating that left shoulder blade. Good. And then you come back to center, so lowering your elbow and taking your gaze back down. Now, you draw the shoulder blades both down the back, pubic bone down towards the mat, belly pulls up away from the mat. And then you're going to raise your hands up with the forehead resting on them, right? So the elbows come up, your forehead comes up, resting on the hands. You draw the shoulder blades down the back. So you kind of, as if you want to squeeze the shoulder blades together and you pull the belly away from the mat and your toenails, they're pressing down. And you slowly lower your forehead down. Okay, and again, so rolling the shoulders down the back, preparing the body, pubic bone down, belly in, and slowly raising the forehead up, resting on the hands. Now from here, you're going to kind of rotate, right? You're going to open your chest towards the right as you turn your gaze to look at that right elbow. Your left elbow is naturally going to come down, right, in a diagonal, so kind of like an airplane, lifting that right elbow up, slowly coming back to center, lower your head and chest down. Now you want to keep the two points of the ribs at the two points of your hips, sorry, anchored down into the mat. And again, we inhale and we raise the chest, the heart off the mat. Belly pulls in, pubic bone is down. Exhale, you slowly start to make that airplane rotation. The elbow comes up at that left side, right? And then, so we're not, we're not kind of collapsing that right elbow down. Right elbow is also lifted. And you turn your gaze and look up at that left elbow. And you draw the shoulder blades down the back, keeping both points of the hips down on the mat. Coming back to center, 
folding here, and then opening the arms out to the side, reaching the shoulder blades down the back. Now think about lengthening the side body. Think about reaching the heart forward. Toenails are pressing into the mat, and you're just reaching, reaching, reaching. Good. Open the palms up, and draw the shoulder blades further down the back, and lift that pinky finger up, so we really get into the back muscles here. Lifting the pinky finger up, like as if you want to touch the ceiling with your pinky finger. Rotating through the wrist to really reach that palm upwards. Taking the palms back down, out to the side. Bending your elbows, taking them back underneath your forehead, and then slowly coming back down onto your back. Curl the toes under, and then you're going to sit back on your heels. Stretching out your spine and then coming into downward facing dog whenever you're ready. Good. Inhaling here. Exhaling. Good. Inhale, raising that right leg back up. Inner thighs moving towards each other. Right knee is going to bend and it's going to come again and touch that right elbow. Bring it towards the left elbow. Bring it towards the right elbow. Reach it towards the center, lifting the knee into the belly. Now you flex your foot, right? You lift your back all the way up to the sky, create some space to step that right foot through. And then you're going to step your left foot forward as well. And you take a forward fold here. So it's the first forward fold. Take a halfway lift as you slide your hands up your shins. Roll the shoulder blades down the back. Good. Pull up through the belly and exhale, fold. Bend your knees, rock back on your heels, reach the arms out to side, good. Pull up from your legs and from the belly and we rise up, take your palm and hands together and exhale, take your hand to your heart. Now you might need your blocks, so bring your blocks here to the top of the mat, just in case you want them, or your Kleenex boxes, just in case you need that option. And then your feet are going to be together and your knees are going to be together. And you're going to sit back in a chair, right? So you're sitting back in the chair, your hips are coming behind you. And then you're going to take your elbows in front of your knees and you take the palm of the hands together. Lift up your heart. Now you're going to press your knees back. Okay, so we're not here. With your elbows, you're going to press your knees back and you lift up your toes. So you really feel the heels digging into the ground. Now you roll the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale here. Okay, bring your toes back down. Inhaling. Now on your exhale, you're going to lift your elbows off your knees. And you're going to lift your chest up slightly, and you're going to lower your hips down more. Inhale here. On your exhale, you're going to twist towards the right, extending your arms down, palm of the hands still together. And then you press the left elbow against the right knee. Now the feet are together and the ankles are together and your knees are together. Now check your feet, check your knees. Make sure that they're not, one knee's not in front of the other. Both knees are together and you reach the fingertips down, okay, and lift your heart up. Now, if there's space for you in your back, you can bend your elbows and twist further, right, from your chest, rotating your chest up towards the sky. Draw that right shoulder blade down the back. Come down in your chair. Pull up from the belly. Pull up from the belly. Good. Stay here. Inhale. So if this is too much, keeping the arms down here is fine too. Okay? So, but keep twisting from the torso and keep your hips stable. Now, we inhale and we're going to press up through that right arm. Pressing up through that right arm. Okay? You don't want to look up at that right arm because too much twisting going on, so you want to keep your neck in neutral. So you just face forward, which is the same side as your chest, and really twisting from the chest, from the heart. Good. Taking the palm of the hands back down together, looking forward, coming out of the twist, bring your elbows back towards the knees, and then we slowly rise up, inhale, exhale. Take your hand to your heart. Notice the right side, notice the left side. Coming back and sitting back in your chair, 
reaching the hips behind you, taking the palm of the hands together, and pressing the elbows in front of the knees, right? So bring the feet together, knees together. Inhale here. Exhale, lifting your elbows slightly off your knees. Twisting towards the left now. Check your knees, right? Extending through the arms first to really get that rotation from the chest. And then maybe if there's space, you bend your elbows so you can go a little bit deeper into your twist. Pressing the palm and the hands together, left elbow comes up, and you want to have your thumb in line with your sternum in the middle of your chest. Inhale. Good. And then you press up through that left arm, and you press up with the palm facing upwards. Keep rotating. Keep rotating. Keep rotating. Taking the palm and the hands back down together. Untwisting, coming to center. Slowly rising up. Inhale. Exhale. Hands your heart. Notice the back. Notice the upper back. Notice the movement, the vibration, the juices starting to really kind of flow. And again, we do it again. So we come down, we take the elbows, and we bring them in front of our knees. Now, and we press our knees back and we drop your hips and we lift the heart. And now we lift our elbows off the knees. Inhale. Exhale, we twist towards the right, extending the arms first, reaching down, maybe pressing the elbows up, rolling the shoulders down the back, yeah? bending down through the hips, checking your knees, make sure they're not knocking, both knees are on the same plane. Now you're going to look forward and you're going to use the power of the core for balance. You're going to raise your left heel up off the mat, left heel, right? And you're going to fly your left heel in towards the bum. Shoot your left leg behind you and slowly reach it back as you come into your revolved lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, further come into your twist. Again, if this is too much, you can take your blocks right here and just have the arms working here. You can take your hand, your right hand, keep it in line with your sternum opening the chest and you keep your left hand down for stability. Okay, so reaching back through that left heel and the right knee's bent at 90. Good, now from here, you're going to extend up through that right arm, extend down through that left arm, pull up from the core as you slowly come into a twisted warrior two, reaching out from the side, of the arms, really both arms reaching away from each other and drawing the shoulders down the back. Now inhale here. On your exhale, you're gonna take your hands towards your elbows and then you're going to untwist, coming to center from your torso. Roll the shoulders down the back. You're going to spin your back heel down and you check the alignment of your feet. You wanna be able to draw a line from the front heel to the rear heel you don't want to have your rear heel crossed behind. And then you untwist further. So you open your chest to face the side of the mat. And then you shoot your arms out the side. Good. If your leg gets tired here, you can straighten out your knee a little bit. And then come back into a really nice, deep, strong warrior two. Really anchor that right heel into the mat. And energetically draw the two inner thighs towards each other. You keep that right knee open out the side. But draw the shoulders down the back. Good. You're going to take your right elbow down on top of your right knee. And you're going to lift your left arm over the head. So we're opening and we're reaching that left side waist. Now notice I'm not sinking to my right shoulder. I'm pressing my right elbow into my thigh to keep this lifted. Because I want a lift in both side waists. I look down. I lift my arms back into warrior two, keeping that right knee bent. I reach my left arm behind me and I take my right arm up. Now I don't want to go back into a back bend. I just want to reach my right arm up and slightly over in a curve, just enough to have an opening on the right side waist. Coming back into warrior two, elbow comes back down onto the thigh. Left arm comes back over the head. Good. Opening up, not sinking, pressing to lift, opening back up into warrior two, gaze right in front of your fingertips, 
reaching the left arm back, right arm over the head. Be careful not going too far. You don't want to be jabbing into that low back, but keeping the lift going into the heart. One more time, inhale here. Now maybe here, instead of taking the hand onto the elbow, maybe your hand goes, you can take a block onto the inner foot, maybe your hand goes onto the block, maybe lengthways up here, maybe short side, maybe bottom side, maybe no block as you go over the head. Coming back, reaching with your left arm back, right arm lifts, reaching that right arm behind you, uh, left arm behind you, sorry, right arm over the head. And again, coming deeper into it. One more time. Good. Inhale, warrior two. Coming down, either onto your block or onto the floor. Left arm over the head, or your elbow can stay on your thigh. Coming back up, looking down, floating it back, warrior two. Reaching left arm back, right arm forward. Good. And then slowly from here, start to straighten out your right leg. Whew. Good. Reaching both fingertips away from each other. Now, you might want to step your left foot slightly inwards, okay, if you feel like it's too far of a stance. And make sure your left toes are pointing, pointing inwards, not out to the side. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. Now, from the length of the side waist, you're going to reach the right fingertips forward from the side waist and from the crown of the head, like you're growing out of your hips. And you hold. Hold until you feel maybe a stretch in the back of that right thigh. And when you feel those side waist can't hold you anymore. And then you take your right fingertips down towards your shin or onto a block and you lift your left arm up. So wherever you choose to do, or onto the floor, you lift your left arm up and you stack the shoulders right above each other and you move the hips slightly forward so you lengthen. And from here, you're going to inhale, you're going to look down and you're going to reach that left arm over the head. Inhale here. Now pull up from that right knee. Pull the muscles up away from that right knee. Good. Reaching the left arm up, stacking the shoulders against each other, bending through that knee. Good. Turn the toes to face forward. Remove your block, or you can keep it there for support on the other side of the foot, okay, on the outside of the foot. And then you come back up. And you take the palm of the hands together. Roll the shoulder blades down the back. Pull up from the belly. Inhale, you lean slightly forward. And then on your exhale, you come back into your revolved twist, into your revolved lunge. You reach your heel back behind you, pressing the palm of the hands together. Spin your heart open. Spin your heart open. Good. Again, you can choose to take your hand down to your block here. And then you're going to look down and going to come back forward the way we came back into it, right? Balancing. So you slowly lean forward onto that right foot, lifting the foot off the mat, lying the heel into the bum, slowly lowering your toes down, finding feet together, and then slowly unraveling, lifting the arms up, and exhale, coming into standing here good notice the right side of the body notice the left side of the body good and you inhale reaching out through the arms and you exhale you dive down forward rolling over the leg inhale take a halfway lift good on your exhale we're going to step it back into downward facing dog just step it back into downward facing dog here which is the left side breathing here Take one more breath just to balance it out. You can walk in place as well if that feels nice for you. If any parts of the back or the low back felt unstuck. Right, so then we unstick those places that felt stuck. And then slowly again, you're going to raise your left leg up towards the sky. You bend your left knee. And you take the left knee towards the left elbow. You swing the knee towards the right elbow. Swing it towards the left. Reach it back behind you. Inhale. Exhale. Left knee comes to left elbow. Swing it to the right. Swing it to the left. Swing it to center. Now pull up from the belly. Really up. Round your spine. Right? Flex your foot. Create more space so you can step that left foot through. If it gets stuck, just take your hand and help it through. Okay? And then you step your right foot forward as well. 
and you take a forward fold. Inhaling, half and lift. Roll the shoulders on the back, pressing the shin bones into the hands. The hands press back into the shin bones and you draw the shoulder blades down the back to lengthen and grow the side waist. Right? And exhale, we fold. Bend your knees, rock back on your heels. Shoot the arms out the side and we rise up in here. And exhale, hand to your heart. Okay, so left side here. So we sit down again, reaching the arms first by our sides. So we feel the movement of sitting down in our hips, reaching behind us like there's a chair behind us, and feel equal weight on both feet, okay? The balls of the feet, the heels, the outside edge of the feet are equally mounting into your mat. Now you bring the palm and the hands together and the elbows, they press back into your knee, which is gonna naturally bring your hips up. And now you slowly start to bring your hips down toenails down, toes down, lifting your elbows off your knees, inhale here, and then exhale, twist towards the left, extend the arms. Now check your knees, make sure that they're not knocking, they're both moving in the same plane, the same direction. Feet are together, ankles are together, good. Revolve, open up your chest, maybe bending through the elbows to reach the hips behind you, and really rotating through that chest. Inhale, exhale, good, looking down, extending the arms, bring them back onto your knees, pressing your knees back and slowly rising up, and exhale, good, and now we're going to add on the lifting of the heel and the extending of the leg, sitting back in your chair, elbows on top of your knees, Palm of the hands together, press your knees back, dropping the hips. Inhale. Extend the arms to twist, twisting over to the left side, reaching the fingertips down, bend your elbows, right, and really rotate your chest towards the left side of the mat. Keep the palm of the hands on the center of your chest. Now press your left arm up. Press your left arm up. Open up your chest. Take the palm of the hands together again, and we look down. Raise your right heel up. Pull up from the core, and fly your right heel in towards the bum, and slowly extend your back. Find your lunge position, so take your time to find your balance, okay? If you get tired, you need a break, you need to kind of stretch it out, and then come back into it, do so. Do so, so that you can really come back into a nice, controlled, revolved lunge. So we come back into our twist here, extending through that left heel and pulling the belly away from that left thigh. Good. And then slowly, you extend your left arm up. Remember, you can always place a block underneath your right hand first. Lifting that left arm up, looking down, slowly coming up, right? In a twisted warrior, reaching the palm of the hands. Palm of the hands are facing the left side of the mat. Good. And then inhale. Draw the shoulder blades together, palm of the hands come to your shoulders, and then you untwist, coming into regular lunge facing forward, twisting from your torso as you spin your back heel down, checking the alignment of your heels, and you open twist here. If you get tired, extend the leg, and then you slowly come back deeper into it. Good, and then you press the palm of the hands out to side, and you're reaching out of the shoulder blades. Good. Out of the shoulder joint. Inhale here. Exhale. Taking your left elbow down on top of that left thigh. Right arm is going to come over the head. Again, I'm not sinking. I'm lifting and I'm reaching my crown of the head towards the far end of that wall. My left knee is bent. And think about an arrow shooting all the way from my rear heel through my thigh, through my side body, through my arm towards my fingers. Good. Coming up, reaching from the arms, coming back into warrior two. Slowly taking the left arm up, reaching that right arm down the thigh. Right, but I'm not going way back here. I'm just focusing on lifting the heart and lifting the palms up. Coming back into warrior two. 
coming back, arm over the head, elbow into the thigh. Good. Reaching. And again, slowly opening up, warrior two, gazing right over the left fingertips, reaching right arm up, right arm down, left arm up, sorry for sun warrior. Exhale, coming back, warrior two. Coming back, maybe now, hands to the floor or to your block, or it can stay on your elbow. Whatever you feel makes you go deeper. So, Karshva Konasana here, opening the chest, reaching. Looking down to come into warrior two. Reaching right arm back, left arm up. Open up, bend more to really lift. Good, last one for warrior two. Good. Coming back down one last time for your Karshva Konasana. Opening your chest, really coming deep into the thigh. My left thigh is burning, I don't know about you. Lifting arm up, coming into warrior two. And now you get to straighten that, Woo, that left leg. Okay, so either you can stay where you are for your triangle pose, your trikonasana, or you can step your right foot in slightly, take the palm of the hands out to side. Inhaling, reaching forward from the side waist, lengthen, feel the length here as you reach the arms away from the shoulders. You're pulling the belly in, your hips are moving slightly forward, and you're reaching the crown of the head away from the hips. When you feel like you and reach your maximum, you hold. And then you take your left arm down. Right arm comes up, inhale. Open up your chest more. Good. If it doesn't feel nice to look up with that right hand, you just stay looking forward or you look down. So if you've got tension in the neck, right, listen to that internal cue. And then you look down and you reach the right arm over the head. Remember, you can always place a block here on your inner foot. You reach the right arm over the head. Good, inhale. Stack your shoulders above each other and lift open the chest. Good. Arms come up, bend your front knee, turn the toes to face forward as you come back into your lunge. Take the palm of the hands and bring them together in the center of the heart. Draw the shoulder blades down the back, inhaling. Reach the crown of the head forward, exhale. And then you take your elbow again on the outside of that knee and you open your heart. You open your heart. You look forward. We're coming back out of it, right? So you need to pull up from the belly, lift up from the core, so we're not in a collapsing, but we're preparing the body by pressing the heels into the mat and I'm lifting my belly away from my thigh. I slowly slide or step my right foot forward. I reach up through my right heel Right heel comes into the bum, coming down, unraveling slowly, and inhale, arms come up, exhale, hand to your heart. Okay, one last vinyasa, inhaling arms out to the side, exhale, diving forward, inhaling for halfway lift. On our exhale, you're going to step it back and come back into Downward facing dog. You're gonna slowly raise your right leg up, inner thighs connecting. Good. Open your right hip again. So you're stacking the right hip on top of the left. You flex your foot and you reach your heel away from your hip and away from that right hand. You bring your right knee, again, you bend, you bring your right knee now towards the right elbow and you swing it towards the left elbow. Swing it towards the right. Slowly reach it back behind you here. Take an inhale. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Bring it towards the left elbow. Now hold, hold here, hold. Maybe you extend your right leg. You extend it through, so you punch that right heel, and they can turn the toes of the left foot to face the side of the mat, you take the outside edge of the left foot onto the mat. You can stay here with your hands or you can open your left arm out to the side for fallen triangle. So my left foot is down, my right foot is punched right forward, line my chest, now lift up through the hips. Lift up through the hips. Looking down, inhale. Taking the hands back down, lifting up through the leg. Drawing the knee towards your chest and hold. 
Fold the knee towards chest. And then slowly step it back into downward facing dog. If you get tired here, come to child's pose before we take the other side. So we inhale. We lift your left leg up. Left leg up. Stack the left hip on top of the right to open up that left side waist. Good. And reaching through that heel. You bend your knee and you draw the left knee towards the left elbow. You swing it towards the right. Swing it towards the left. You reach it back behind you. Inhale. Exhale. Left knee towards the left elbow. Swing it towards the right. Swing it towards the left. Good. Swing it back towards the right. And you're going to punch that left foot through. Good. And you turn the right toes to face the right side of the mat. And you take that left outside edge of the foot onto the floor. And maybe here, you raise the right arm up. Now, lifting up through the hips. Okay? So my left foot is flexed on the floor. My arms are reaching, right, away from the shoulder joint. Hips are up. Outside edge of my right foot into the mat. I look down. Take my fingertips back down as I raise my knee back in. Turn my right toes to face forward and downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale. Good. And then you're going to slowly take your knees down and sit down on your heels. And reach the fingertips behind you and maybe uncurl your toes. And just relax here in the child's pose. Allowing the shoulders on the mat. And then you're going to slowly come up, rolling up through the spine. You're going to turn yourself to face forward. Okay. And you're going to just release the spine by taking the back of the knees in towards your chest. And you're just going to roll up and down a few times. And then you come back forward. And then you swing your knees to face forward. Okay, so now I'm sitting on my hips. My knees are stacked one in front of the other, okay? So from here, the best way to kind of come into it maybe is if you're sitting down on your heels, knees together, and then you just shift over, shift my right hip down to the side, okay? And then I bring my right fingertips down, so I'm gonna edge myself here, right fingertips down, left arm comes up, inhale. And we're just going to release the side waist as I bend through that right elbow and I open that left side of the body. I inhale and I come up. I grab my left ankle. My right arm comes up by the ear and then I exhale and I side bend over to my left side. I drop my shoulders away from my ears. I spin open my heart and I reach. And again, inhaling, right hand comes down, elbow comes down, left arm comes over the head. Exhale here. Inhaling, coming up, grabbing your left ankle, taking that arm over the head. One more time, inhaling. Elbow comes down, left arm comes over the head. Good. Left arm comes over the head, right arm comes over the head. Good. Now from here, you're going to bend your right elbow and take the side of the ear with your fingertips. And you're going to lift your elbow up towards the sky. So intensifying the stretch, and that right side waist. And now from here, you're going to slide your hand on top of your head as you bring your elbow in and you're going to twist your entire body to look at your left foot. And then we inhale here, extending through the arm and release. Coming back onto your knees and then allowing your left hip to fall to the side, stacking your knees, right knee lower than the left knee, I'm going to shift to the center, good, and then taking your left hand down, right arm comes up, inhale, exhale, side bending, just allowing yourself to just release the spine, inhale, coming up, grabbing your right ankle, left arm comes up by the ear, and exhale, side bend over to the right, inhaling, coming back down, so allowing the side waist and the spine, so just keep going with the flow, grabbing the side of your ankle, left arm comes up, and exhale.
Good, allowing the flow to just open up the sideways more, releasing the spine even more. Exhale here, inhale for the last time, grabbing your right ankle, lifting up through that left arm. Exhale, side bending over here. Good, and then taking your fingertips towards the ear and elbow up towards the sky, lift and spin your heart open towards the sky, inhale. On your exhale, slide your hand on top of your head, allow your elbow to slowly start to move across your face as you twist from your upper body to turn and look at your foot. Good, and inhale and release, lifting arm, and exhale. And just come onto your back just to finish, and just to bring your knees in towards your chest here. Up. And if you have time to go into maybe a longer child's pose or shavasana, which is you just lay down and you close your eyes and you just allow all the magic and all the juices to go into the right places, please do so. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed practicing with you. Hope to see you again next time.